Coming up on My Hometown is Goat. One word to describe the union. Uh, paradise. I've never eaten cricket before. Pampanga, of course, halo halo. I think it's just more fun. It's more me. The little kid inside me. Here in the province of Pampanga, even the Western inspired dishes are worth the trip. Today, we're visiting a sanctuary of Kapampangan classics. Abbas Farm in the town of Magala. An idyllic cradle to stay, yet an exciting place to dine. Hello! Sinigang na baboy sa ube. Oh! A purple sinigang. Tapang damulag po. Nice. A first time for us? Puka. Wow. Arobong kamaru po. Ano to? What's this, Aldrin? Uh, arobong kamaru. Uh, farm cricket. Adobong spread. kamaru. Ah, kaadama. Arobong. 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 Yeah. arobong kamaru. Yeah. Thank you so much, Aldrin. Right. Okay. I'm enjoying this. All right. We get to take this off. Okay. So. So we have a full meal in front of us, Bonizi. And I'm so happy because after a year of community quarantine, we're finally able to go out and enjoy a nice meal. And Bonizi, an important note to point out is that all this has been prepared with a good serving of mm -hmm. health and safety protocols to ensure our health and well-being. And in fact, the Philippines Department of Tourism has been awarded the Safe Travel Stamp by the World Travel and Tourism Council. They've been awarded the use of that for their efforts to ensure that the global standard of safety, health, and hygiene. And of course, we're also doing our part here. Mm -hmm. We are observing physical distancing with everyone else. <laughs> we have our face masks and yes. we are regularly washing our hands. And when you add all that up, you have a leveled up and upgraded health and safety protocol to give us an amazing experience with this amazing food. And speaking of leveled up health and safety protocols, I love that our plates and our utensils are covered and that ensures us that our plates and utensils are sterilized. And just an added nuance so that we can enjoy our dining experience. So I'm interested to try this one because not only does it look cool, but I'm sure the taste is very unique. This is the tapang damulag. Bonizi, what is that? Tapang damulag is carabao meat. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have carabao meat, we have sinigang, that's pork with ube, and, and then... this is arobong kamaru. I'm not sure what arobo is, but kamaru, from what I can tell, is... Crickets! Crickets. Oh yeah, it is a cricket. Okay, I'm gonna like give you guys a nice little... Ooh. Whoa! Have you ever eaten crickets before? Ooh, oh, oh, yes, I have. Oh, where did you have that? I have it, I am... Um... I had it in a province here in the Philippines. Okay. I also had it in my travels around Southeast Asia. I think that was Cambodia. Okay, so this is arobo. What type of cricket did you have? What type of dish? Fried cricket? Really? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So this will be Bonizi's first time trying this out. I'm excited to see her reaction. Let's do... I say let's go for the most exotic looking dish for us. Which is this one. This one, the cricket. When it comes to crickets, they say that it tastes like... Chicken. Chicken. No, no, chicken is correct. <laughs> oh, really? I was just guessing. That's what they said in the cartoon movies. Ah. And that's what they say about most exotic things. I don't know why. Maybe chicken has this general taste. Chicken is the universal flavor. Chicken might be the universal flavor okay. of the world. So, what we're gonna do here, put a nice helping. Show it off a little bit. And this is going straight in Bonizi's mouth. Go. Three, two, one. I felt an antenna. Most I've never eaten cricket before. What? Why 
Why would you lie to me? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I have. Okay, how, I does okay. how does it taste? I love the flavor. It tastes like adobo. It's arobo adobo. This tastes exactly like adobo, which is a very staple Filipino dish. But the only other difference from the regular chicken adobo that you probably have tried is that you feel the crickets. Kamaru translates into crickets. And I have two tidbits for you guys. The first one is, this is healthy. Mm. So crickets are protein rich, so it is a better snack. And second, it is an alternative to popcorn. Because when you go to the streets where okay. they sell kamaru, you can have it in a bag and literally you can watch maybe a sports game while eating it and popping it in. Wow. So it's a healthy snack. I like that. Right? I like that. So instead of a protein shake, we're going to have kamaru. Yeah. Okay. Hi, Gazini. What's up? I'm great. I'm Mick. Yes, nice to meet you finally <laughs> through a video call from Mikael. But with that, I think Bonizi has a challenge for you. Yes, Gazini, we are challenging you to go on an adventure in your hometown and then send it to us so that we can see if you can top up our adventure. Challenge accepted. Ayos ba? Ayos! And to give you a bit of motivation, we'd like to introduce you to our friend, Saba! Hi, oh, hi Saba! Oh, so hi to Gazini! <laughs> nice Hello. to meet you, Saba! <laughs> go eat some food. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys. Bye. See Enjoy. you. Bye. Bye. Ginahan ko extreme activities because it makes me feel alive. It gives me that endorphin rush and that adrenaline junkie that I am. I think it's just more fun. It's more me. The bubbly me. The little kid inside me wants to do a lot of things in this world. <laughs> I got better at it through time because I always like to do jet ski naman when I visit a resort. I have some friends who compete for jet skiing. And so they taught me how to, to do some tricks, a little bit of that, but I'm not a pro. <laughs> I love being in the water, so binahan the cool things that excite me. There was a girl who was literally shaking and sweating <laughs> before me. I thought about madali lang yan kasi like you're protected naman with all the gears and I'm sure that the cock will make sure na everything is smoothly done. Before mag landing, 15 meters po before mag landing, meron tayo po mga stoppers. Uh, yung stopper yun ang controlling speed, na maganda ako kanya mag landing. Wait, live naman ko. <laughs> Wait, live kami. <laughs> Hinga. Out down, 5, 4. Darna! I did it, I got more stoked with it. Okay, I'm done with my zip. 
zip line and that was such a great experience because it's my first time to try uh, in here in the Pitan and that was the fastest and the longest zip line I've ever had. So I'm even willing to try one more. <laughs> Something nice and easy to cap off an adventurous day. Ingat ka, no? After some serious riding, we decided to just chill out on the beach. My dog wanted some sun. You know how to swim now, huh? Oops, even our camera swam with us. But sometimes, even in the beach, you just feel like riding. Like my brother Mark riding away on the jet ski. After soaking in the sun, sand, and beach, we're just chilling here and enjoying our halo halo. So what's up, dog? What's up, dog? <laughs> when I was a kid, I always spent time, um, my summer time in Pampanga, and one of the famous dishes of Pampanga, of course, halo halo, the best of Pampanga, and, and sisig, napakasarap sa rice. Pampangas. Pampangas. And Pampanga's best. Pampanga's best. <laughs> yes. One word to describe the union would be uh, paradise. And uh, the local dialect here in the union is Lepano. Um, Nagpintas. Nagpintas. Which means beautiful. Yeah. And naimas. Naimas, which is masarap. Masarap. Like it's halo halo. When we ride, it's not just about the places we visit and the people that we meet, it's also about the food. That's why here in La Union, more food awaits. Amari is a popular Italian restaurant in the heart of La Union. You can dine with an ocean view. Amari La Cucina means to love the kitchen in Italian. And Amari's best sellers are Alvin's Pizza, a thin pizza with plum tomatoes and parmigiano. And their pizza of choice, the prosciutto. But wait, there's more. Their equally delectable selection of Italian and international dishes. Hermit La Union is another chill out spot to satisfy your pizza cravings. Their burrata pizza is said to be a favorite among local and foreign tourists. And they have the perfect drink to go with the pizzas. Pineapple daiquiri. Array Hotel and Resorts Restaurant, Song C, has a gastronomic treat for us. The concept of this restaurant is that Salt and Sea is Asian and international. Salt and Sea's top three dishes for the international palate. Butterfly prawn and sweet chili sauce. Green chicken curry. Thai beef salad. It's definite. More food awaits in La Union. Next time on My Hometown is Goat. Hey guys, what's up? We are in Luna Baluarte, La Union, the Watchtower. One of the amazing spots here in LU. Uh, it's a must. 
uh, bucket list type place. You gotta, you gotta check it out, guys. Yoga helps me develop my interceptive awareness. Good morning. Come, come. Oh, it's all fuzzy here. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Megan Young. And I'm Mikael Daez, and this is Soba Doba. And if you enjoyed watching the videos on AXN Asia YouTube, make sure you subscribe to them. And you know what you can catch more of us on my hometown is GOAT only on AXN. Woo!